Hello guys, welcome back to Good Trial Tips. Just another episode. In this video, I would like to talk about how to completely fix, I mean, how to unlock if your iPhone is completely disabled, right? So this is how it looks when your iPhone is completely disabled, as you can see, right? So now, how to fix this app. So before getting into this, I would like to make you notice few things. The first one, make sure you have a laptop and internet is connected to this. I mean, internet connection is available in the laptop so that you can do the further process. And one more thing I would like to make you notice is once you do the disabled process, if you want to unlock it, every single data which is available in this device will be completely wiped off. That means it will be completely formatted. No data will be available. And also any kind of data that are backed up to your iCloud will be available. And you have to keep in mind that this process, which I'm going to show you, it's going to take a little more time because because the, the process, you know, it's going to take because the files has to get a complete download of huge file, which is around approximately 4 GB. Right, so it's going to take a little a little time. So, but you have to start with this, right? So these are the things we have to take care of the first, right? You should have a laptop and internet connection should be there in this and you should have a, cap a cable which is connected so that you have to connect to the iPhone. And keep in mind that every photos will be completely wiped off when you, once you do the process, right? So let's get started first. So first thing what you have to do is as you can see, now as you can see the iPhone is completely disabled. Now you have to power it off, right? To do this you have to press at here, at the right side you have to press this for a short period of time so that this will be completely turned off. So I'm going to do this. So here it is in the right side. So I'm just going to press this for a few seconds, right? And as you can see now I have to slide to power off. Right now you have to wait for at least around 10 seconds so it will be completely turned off. Now once after that what you have to do is you have to connect your iPhone to the laptop. Right to do this you have to just as I mentioned earlier you should be connected you should be in all the precurities such a way that you have to connect this up. So guys now you have to connect this cable to the iPhone and the moment you connect you have to press the home button until you reach the recovery mode. Right as I mentioned once again I'm underlining the moment you connect the cable to the iPhone you have to press the home button until you reach the recovery mode. So I'm going to show you this. So I'm going to just press this and I'm going to press the home button and uh, just I'm waiting for a few seconds okay. right okay. so now every tutorial I'll be showing you in the PC so let's move to the PC so guys now as you can see here we are in the lap laptop now we have to open the iTunes so let's open it now as you can see we have landed here now what you have to do is you have to you'll be getting this option and you have getting a message so as you can see the message has been there that you are successfully connected the phone now we have to go for a restore option as you can see this is what we have to select we have to go for the restore option right and you have to notice that you have to wait for a few seconds because as you mentioned earlier this is going to take a little bit time so that it's a very huge process I mean it's of a huge file has to get downloaded and those kind of things are there so it's almost around 4 GB so it's going to take a few I mean it's going to take a little bit of time so you have to wait until it's get completely finished up right. so after doing all these things now as I mentioned earlier we'll be downloading a huge file which is around 4 GB right so most of you guys didn't see any kind of changes here now I'm going to show you what is happening here at the top right as you can see the file is being downloaded right as you can see the file is being downloaded so so the file is being downloaded so it's going to take around you know five minutes or more let's see what happens after that now as you can see the downloading pro the files are in processing and uh, it's kind of like a little bit seconds a fraction of seconds hardly As you can see the uh, files are getting extracting the software as you can see at the time it's going it has to get completed so we need to wait for a little bit around five minutes again now as you can see it is preparing the iPhone for restore so uh, once the software is extracted now it's getting prepared and once it's done with it and here out in the device also the same thing happens so as you can see now uh, it's getting up 
So now everything will be automatically done. The process will be automatically doing this like the installation. So as you can see the Apple logo has come. Now it is getting installed. You have to wait for a few more seconds or minutes to get completely loaded up to a new setup. So now it is getting restoring all the iPhone softwares. So it has to get completely filled up till here. So you have to wait for another few minutes. So guys that's all about it now you can set up your iphone according to your wish so that's all about how you can restore your iphone if it is disabled right so if you felt like this video is helpful do let us know in the comment section so any kind of suggestions are most welcome so that we our team can improve ourselves so don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for the notification 
This is Shahin signing off from Creative Tips. See you soon. Peace out. Keep practicing social distance. See you in the next video.